Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're tuning into AMTV Alternative Media Television. So there's three primary reasons that I think Hillary Rodham Clinton wins the presidency and runs in 2016. Reason number one, she's got a vagina. Now I know that sounds a little crass, but I'm serious. Proletariat vaginas everywhere are really looking for a win in 2016. And it's just a convenient truth and a hard hitting fact that Hillary, at least we think, has a vagina. And let's face facts, America, Washington's been ruled, overruled really, by too many dicks for way too long. Reason number two is that Hillary Clinton has an ego. And you know, we know she doesn't have a relationship with her husband because while her husband was president of the United States, this oligarchy that makes up the Clintonistas, he was getting blowjobs from Monica Lewinsky. So we know they don't have a relationship, but we do know they have an ego. You know, she has such an outlandish ego that while being interviewed with her new book, Hard Choices, pun intended, she said that her and her husband were dead broke when they left the White House in 2011. And of course, Americans yelled and there was a big outcry like, how dare you say you were broke, Hillary? We're the ones that are really broke. So ego is a big reason. And it's one of the reasons she's going to be running in 2016. I mean, I think she honestly could care less about hanging out with her grandchildren and the new baby that'll be the next president after Chelsea, the daughter, because again, it's just Clinton and Clinton and then Bush and Bush. Uh, I personally don't think that you should be allowed to run for president of the United States if you have had the same last name within the last 10 years. Who knows, maybe they should make it longer. But in this country, a selected oligarchy, again, there's really no vote. It's all just manufactured PR by the BS mainstream media to pretend like we actually have a republic when we clearly don't. We really just have a king who's overruling all of us <laughs> just like they have thousands and thousands of years ago you know keeping us in our shackles of debt and mortgages and credit cards and student loans thirdly and lastly I think Hillary really wants to reunite with terrorists all over the world. Uh, she was being questioned by a Brit, by a red coat uh, this afternoon I was watching, who was laying up softballs on Benghazi, like, Hillary, you know, what do you think about Benghazi Gate? What do you think about uh, Christopher Stevens and, you know, several ever other Americans dying? Uh, well, and under your watch. And, and we need to remember that as Americans. You know, Hillary tries to distance herself as a politician. Like, you know, I wasn't privy to those conversations at the time. Well, she was actually serving one of the highest positions in America as Secretary of State with the Obama administration and was ruling during most and all of these scandals. Whether or not it was Benghazi Gate or the illegal targeting of conservative groups by the IRS or anything else, NSA, wiretapping, etc. But I really think that she wants to reunite with terrorists everywhere. She was actually really considering on the her interview or town hall meeting today with these softballs of potentially partnering with Iran. Yeah, you heard it first, that's right, Hillary Clinton and the current president of the United States, Barack Obama, are considering a partnership with what many in Washington, D.C. have called the Great Satan. That's right, the Great Satan partnering with America. Isn't that nice? Isn't that, doesn't that just go to show you that everything that you think and believe to be true, everything that's spun to you by the mainstream media and these criminal politicians is really just BS. It's just really lies to convince you and to propagate a particular narrative that services their needs at any given point in time. And it's exactly why I think Hillary Clinton runs in 2016 for the three reasons given. Her vagina, alleged vagina, her ego, and also her intention to manufacture that relationship with Al-Qaeda and terror groups like ISIS, of which she's been watchful and had a watchful eye over while she was Secretary of State. And of course, we're watching this all unravel because it was planned overseas in places like Iraq, this spilling over of terrorism from Syria in this smorgasbord and intended caliphate to create more instability and of course, raise oil prices and prop up a overly stimulated economy into infinity until the next collapse. Again, those are the hard choices Hillary Clinton's had to make year after year. Once saying and recently mentioning that she thought her and her husband Bill were dead broke after they left the White House in 2011. Well, for vagina proletariats everywhere, you've got a new female president coming on the scene in 2016. It should please the politically correct bullshit society that is America today. 
And that's the trip. I'm Christopher Green. Get it out everywhere. Make it viral. Hard hitting in your face. And click the link below to support our sponsor.